Good morning, Saturday, August 17th, 2024. We have a really auspicious full moon coming in. And if you even look at the moon, um, I'm here in New York and I've just been looking at it daily. It's uh, very golden pinkish in appearance. And um, we know whenever there's a full moon, the moon is opposite the sun, 180. And Mercury right now is retrograde and will be retrograde on conjunct with the sun. In Leo, I've been talking about heart intentions, heart motives being revealed as Mercury is um, the aspect of the Holy Spirit of communication, revelation, revealing, communication, um, intellect, voice, speaking, um, the sun illuminating things, a lot of illumination and revelation being communicated to us through the voice, capital V, voice of God, opposite the moon in the full moon of Aquarius, which is the house of awakening, awakening of the collective. Um, many are feeling like we're going through a rude awakening um, because Aquarius is ruled by the planet Uranus, which is um, awakens very suddenly we're seeing very um, many suddenlies happen in our lives, both for the seemingly positive, seemingly negative, everything is for our good and for our growth. Not everything is easy, though. Um, and so this full moon in Aquarius... 27 degrees on August 19th. We have uh, many aspects presenting of the Holy Spirit right now through the cosmos. Very many, um, multiple aspects that are really, 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 really powerful um, and unavoidable. Jupiter is in a perfect square to Saturn in Pisces, which is retrograde, which is doing a lot of work in dissolving Christianity um, and all that is going to fall away from that religion. Jupiter, square Saturn, as the Piscean age uh, carries upon it waves of souls that are being washed as that age dissolves and we are baptized into the age of Aquarius, the higher consciousness, a higher awareness, a greater awakening. We've never been here before, yet we are remembering who we are all at the same time. We are in a great baptism as we are being taken on the waves of the dissolving of the Piscean age into the baptism of that, that, one man with the water pitcher baptizing us into the age of Aquarius. And where is Uranus, which rules Aquarius? It is in Taurus, the house of our valuables, our possessions, our home base, our comfort zones. And Uranus is breaking everything up there. It is electrifying everything there. It is breaking up the fallow ground. Um, it is bringing suddenlies. It is bringing electrification. It is um, rejuvenating and reviving the burnt out nervous system of humanity. The nervous system is also represented in Aquarius. And as Pluto is going to make its last retrograde now to Capricorn, breaking down the old world systems and the old world as it falls away, the end of the age Pluto will then, at the end of the year and into the new year, move into Aquarius and <laughs> do its work, which is unavoidable. The work of Pluto, which is an aspect of the Holy Spirit, is death, transformation, and rebirth, resurrection. <sighs> On a practical note, I think that we will see a market crash, a tech crash, um, 
markets are so overinflated now that we are just, um, this is beyond, this is the end of the old world financial system. I've talked about this a lot. Um, I think the next few months will be, uh, we will see things that we have never seen in our lives, both personally on a personal uh, level and on a collective level, we will see things we have never seen in our lives going on in the world. We also have Venus directly opposing Saturn. Venus will be in Virgo. And I think a lot of people are moving energy through their bodies. Um, that has been stagnated and stuck and resident, resident in our bodies. Lilith is on my Uranus. Wow. I am, I am under the divine workings of God. Are you? I am in it even as the divine is in me. Neptune's still on that last degree of the zodiac the true mystic, the true Christ, ready to move into the first sign, the first house on the next level of the staircase. So we are going into the next level of knowing. See, humanity is going from believing, because our beliefs are all based on all of the things that have been taught to us, shown to us, passed down to us, um, read to us, and Part of what I believe that's going to be breaking open in the next few months is that humanity is going to be shown that we have been lied to, even about history and about a lot of the things that we have been indoctrinated about. So if our beliefs are based on that, then our beliefs aren't truth. But we are going from believing, which is Piscean, right, which is dissolving, into knowing, which is Aquarian, knowing. higher mind where is your Uranus in your chart because it rules Aquarius what does Uranus speak to you in your chart I know it's the first planet of my in my chart truth truth we are becoming the truth we aren't just speaking our truth. We are becoming the truth. And that is a process and a path that we are all being called to take. And as Mercury retrogrades into the house of the heart, Leo, the heart of the child, revealing the heart of the child in us, what is, what are those places that we are becoming truth in the inward parts? Oh, Pluto is on zero of Aquarius. It's retrograding back into Capricorn. It's going to do its final work on the 29th degree, the anoretic degree of Capricorn. And if you have any planets there, certainly that's going to involve things in your life as well. A finishing and ending, a closure of sorts, a perhaps a death and a resurrection of sorts. Um, but this is what we're seeing in the world and major, major, major in the financial system. The new financial system is already up and running, but we have to see the old one pass away. And the way that the world system works is that there are planned events that occur. Sorry, I always do this. I scratch my eye. Um, I think that means that we are dehydrated because if our eyes are itchy, they probably have more salt and we have to probably drink. I noticed that if I drink more when my eyes are itchy, it's because we're dehydrated. 
And so... So many deep messages. So many deep workings happening in all of us. Um, and so... We're in it. We're in it. We're going to get a, um, I believe, almost like a defibrillation. We're going to get a defibrillation. Oh, I forgot to mention Uranus with Algol, which we saw the weekend that there was the attempted assassination, which I don't believe was real, but I do believe the man behind him really died. Um. And Biden stepped out of the race, and then there was the whole shutdown of the Microsoft, which was, I think, a preliminary of what we're going to see in, I believe it's mid-October. Let me just check. Yes, where well, Uranus will be retrograde, which is more powerful than when it's going forward the first time, or direct. But Uranus will be back conjunct with Algol. So whatever started in July, which was what we saw in the world, was an attempted assassination. So will there be a complete assassination? Will Trump be assassinated and resurrected? We don't know. We don't know. Um, but it will line up with the stories of the Bible and the Antichrist. That's another whole story, though, and I won't get into that. Um, but that Uranus-Algol conjunction very intense. And this is not for fear. This is about the completion of the exposure that has been going on. But I believe there's going to be a defibrillation of our nervous system. Not so much our hearts, but our nervous system, because algal is about the head. And there's going to be an electrification in our nervous system to heal us and like give us a jump of healing, to give us a intense thrust of energy to heal humanity in our nervous systems what a what a beautiful gift that we're going to be getting to give us the higher mind you know age of aquarius the higher mind the mind of christ um and to heal because algal has a lot to do with iniquity iniquity that has caused mental illness, iniquity. When we're told we're crazy, that didn't really happen to us. That's the story behind Algol. I'm not going to get into the myth and all of that, but what it represents is being violated or things happening to us and us carrying that iniquity in us and then being told that didn't really happen, uh, being gaslighted and then going mentally crazy because we're being told it didn't really happen and being abused because we voiced what happened. And so a lot of this is all coming out through the trauma of generations that have caused the mental illness of humanity and has brought us to this place of basically humanity having a nervous breakdown, which I believe was set off by the C-19 world event. And so... A great mentor of mine always said, sometimes things have to get worse before they can get better. This is exactly what we're in right now. Um, the end and the beginning are overlapping for humanity right now. But the secret, the secrets of the kingdom are revealed as we go within. The secrets of the kingdom as we go within are revealed. Number one, the secrets that have been hidden in generations of our trauma and darkness that we carry within our DNA, because we're getting a DNA upgrade, we're getting a DNA healing. Um, 
in this electrification of our nervous system. But those secrets have to come out, just like I was talking about with alcohol, when there was abuse or when there was violation and, it, and we were gaslighted and told that didn't really happen. Those secrets that have been buried in families have to come out. Um, the manipulations, the bendings, the witchcrafts, the, um, the control, the micromanaging, the um, just the family secrets. And I've been talking about family secrets for so long now. This is it. October will reveal many family secrets um, so that we can heal, so that we can receive that jump start of ascension and of healing our nervous system and everything we've carried within it and which will heal the rest of our bodies, our spiritual bodies, our emotional bodies, our psychological bodies, our mental illness. Um, I do see a great bifurcation that I've talked about before. There will be groups of people that are just, they're going into this. Their awareness of it is so keen and they're on the humble path. They're being authentic. They're sharing from their soul path. They're a beautiful mess. They are dark yet lovely. And then there will be the bifurcation of the know-it-alls who are have arrived and they're not going through this stuff. And it's just everybody else's fault and everybody else's blame. And they can tell everybody else how to fix themselves. So there's this bifurcation. And though love still connects us all, there's different camps or different tribes. Um, and what I love in this tribe of, of those that are healing is that they are holding space for all, for all to be healed, to be upgraded, to be awakened, to be in the unified field of love and awareness of that love. Um, but not without the personal path of that humble brokenness that we're all on, um, which will reveal the ego. It will reveal the ego. And I believe that's what the, the total solar eclipse in Aries, because in my opinion, Aries really is about the ego the survival, um, that total solar eclipse was revealing a passageway, a portal to heal what egos have done through the ages to bring us to where we are now. What a beautiful, beautiful picture of the workings of the Holy Spirit in our breath and in our life force and in us and through us in humanity, where we are right now. And I appreciate you listening to my very um, simplified expression of how I see it through my perspective and what the Holy Spirit is showing me within myself. And the beauty of that and the simplicity of that, yes, and yet the complexity of that. Um, we're going to heal together. That is the Aquarian age. We are going to heal together. There will be no guru. There will be no top man. There will be no top pulpit. And this is why big churches are collapsing pulpits are collapsing. Um, we're going to heal down here together as we ascend. But we will go to hell together, um, which the world has in is doing. And we have yet to see even a greater collapse financially that will and already is putting a very strong strain on humanity a very real strain on our existence here in this 3D realm, financially. We need one another. We need one another. That's it. Um, and uh, 
no one can boast because today I might need you, but tomorrow you might need me. So there is no religion, there is no belief system, um, there is no particular chosen people that are um, higher, better, or more equipped or more gifted than any other. We all are divinity wrapped in humanity healing together in this Aquarian baptism and outpouring as we ride on the waves out of the Piscean age and all that that has produced in us. This full moon in Aquarius reminds us of these things and ushers in something of that baptism. It ushers in that baptism. Over the head. And so mental illness will be getting healed. Mental illness will be getting healed. This is a good thing. This is a good thing. And we are grateful. We are grateful. What is this baptism for you? The voice speaks to us. It flows through our heart. We feel it in here. We get clarity. We get understanding. We see where we need to repent and return and rectify what we have done wrong through wrong intention, wrong heart motive. Um, the truth will set us free. We've done things 20 years ago, 30 years ago that need to be rectified today. The voice of the Holy Spirit will reveal it. That truth will set us free. We could be praying for something for 30 years and going around the same mountain because it's that truth that will be revealed that will set us free. And there's no shame because we, we do things out of wrong intention. We're afraid. We control. We try to manipulate. We try to bend other people's will. We have jealousy, all of these things. We do things out of wrong intention. And so the gift is the voice revealing to us our heart motives so that we can redeem and know the truth, know the truth, not our beliefs saving us. That's why we can't plaster a scripture on it because our beliefs aren't going to save us anymore. We will know the truth as we venture and we pilgrimage, that inner soul path, the inner kingdom to the inner kingdom. We will know the truth, not believe the truth. We will know the truth. Know thyself. How do I know? Well, I have to be intimate to know. I have to get intimate with that inner path within myself. And so Mercury retrograde on the sun during this full moon. I mean, it's a gift of revelation being shown to us. The things we didn't want to know or we denied. And we're over here praying, 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 praying. Yet there's this piece of information that we need to see and know about our inner soul path. And then we can rectify. There's no shame. The, re the shame of religion is dissolving. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. We gladly say goodbye to the shame of religion, the shame attached to religion. Goodbye. We bid it farewell. We carried that shit long enough. 
And so this Mercury retrograde, opening the books of our heart, taking us back in our memories, full moon in Aquarius, taking us back to our heart intentions and our heart motivations so that we can clear that karma. How beautiful is that? This is what I'm seeing in this full moon. This is what I'm seeing. And it's for all of us. The courageous, right? Sun and Leo, the lion, the heart, the courageous one will take that path. The Christ in us is courageous. Takes us to that cross where we bow and we say, I'm going to take a look at this. I want to know thyself, myself. I want to know the truth that I might be liberated, delivered, set free in love. Leo, Venus being opposed to Saturn is clearing the karma so that we can love, know this love and love in truth. But Saturn is there holding tight space to clear the karma. We can't get around it. We can't dig under it. We can't climb over it. We can't avoid it anymore. The truth, we shall know the truth. And the truth will set us free. And the truth is not out there. The truth is in this path. And we are being gifted with the graces of God through the aspects of the Holy Spirit moving and working in this way right now. And for this, we give thanks. The sons of God are being revealed. All creation is yearning and groaning for this revelation, this revealing. The Christ has already appeared in the coming. We are seeing the glimpses, and as we behold him, we will be like him. That Christ is in us in all of us. Because we are this divinity. Wow.